Some trust in their skill. Others trust in their kin. Hey! But we trust, but we trust, but we trust, but we trust, but we trust in the name of the Lord. When they say they're sarcastic now, I, 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 When they say they're sarcastic now, what will you say? We will say they're stop lifting up. When they say they're sarcastic now, what will you say? We will say they're stop lifting up. What will you say? We will say that it's a lifting up. Hey! Cause we trust. Cause we trust. Cause we trust. Cause we trust. In the name of the Lord. Hey! There's a lifting up. Zambia, there's a lifting up. In the name of Jesus, there's a lifting up. There's a lifting up. There's a lifting up. There's a lifting up. What manner of man is Jesus? Hallelujah. 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 He made the blind to see. Hallelujah. What manner of man is Jesus? Hallelujah. Hey, he makes the blind man see. Hallelujah. Hey, what manner of man is Jesus? Hallelujah. Yeah. Your name is Yahweh. Well, why not keep thinking? Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh.
lift up our hands. Can you give me this volume please because I don't feel like screaming. Can you just lift up your hands and just worship the Lord somebody. Just give him the glory. Give him praise. Glory honor power majesty be unto God. Amen. Tonight from the heavens, I release the decree of the Lord tonight that the heavens open over your life and whatever needs to be visited in your life tonight let the Lord visit them in Jesus name I want to hear the crowd wave to the Lord and shout Amen can you open your mouth and begin to pray and ask the Lord to open the heavens over your life tell the Lord Open the heavens over my life. Open the heavens over Zambia. Open the heavens over this place. From the rising of the sun to its going down. From now henceforth, my life shall prosper. Every 
Every day there is a morning my life will rise up singing. There shall be rejoicing in my home. Somebody begin to just tell the Lord tonight. Let it be the beginning of days for me. Let it be the beginning of days for me. Let your glory fall. Let your power fall. Let your fullness come down. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Father. Glory, honor, power, majesty. Be unto God. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may be seated for a moment. Please. I'm going to just speak from just three scriptures. We are not going to take long tonight. We have taken long enough waiting for some protocols to come in, but they don't seem to be adding up yet. I believe that tomorrow, which is the grand finale, on the last day of the feast, the Lord will pour out such blessings that have never been seen. Tonight, the first night, the first fruits shall experience a resurrection. I say you will experience a resurrection. I didn't hear somebody say amen. You have already met the great Solomon Lange. He's not taking lightly in Nigeria. And in some nations of Africa. Particularly Kenya. He is fast becoming a major voice there. And the Lord told us to bring him to raise that shout. In Zambia. Zambia. And tonight we thank God that his voice is heard in the heavens. Let's put our hands together for him. We give God glory for his sacrificial life. We welcome him and his team to Zambia. Home of the blessed. I didn't hear Zambia shout, Yay! Yay! Tomorrow night will be fire. Invite everybody. There are people who didn't believe that this meeting really was going to take place. But let them know that it is taking place. I want to acknowledge and thank the Pastors Fellowship Chairman for the whole of great, the greater Lusaka. I mean, to be chairman, you must be a man of fire, timber, and caliber. We salute you from Nigeria today. Let's put our hands together for him. I want to thank God for the government of Zambia that have allowed us to use this venue without which we won't be here today and all the authorities in charge some of which I'm aware are here tonight I want to welcome every one of you I came with two other major ministers and some assistants because we saw from the beginning that this program was vital. For many years we have been coming to Zambia and somehow God told us that the foundation is about to shift again. May that foundation shift with you tonight. And he said, gather the people. And God commanded it has to be an open heavens meeting. And we have obeyed. I don't go by crowds. I go by obedience for what is to come. 
Listen tonight. God said there is going to be a shift in Zambia that will affect the foundations of Zambia. And the shift is beginning from this season. As we enter towards the end of the year and the first bit of next year, there is going to be a revolution taking place all over Zambia. The secret treasures of Zambia will begin to open up to bless Zambia. Technology will explode everywhere. And money will come to your hands. And a great mighty crowd will begin to sing hallelujah. And many shall answer to the call of salvation. Somebody wave to the Lord and shout hallelujah. And that's why I invited some of these strategic ministers to join me. So that together, we can minister to your needs. And that together we can lift hands along with you to call forth the shift from the heavens. And some of those two leaders are uh, Apostle Dan Juma, yeah, Apostle Dan Juma, Musa from Jos, Plateau Musa, State. Can you come to the Jose. altar? Let them see you because where you are. Musa, Quickly come to the altar. And the other is Reverend Patrick. Patrick, can you join him? Reverend Patrick, Austin and Sam Batuxin, can you please come up here? Can you be at, one of you should be here, the other one should be there. Now, listen. In the city where this man comes from, he has one of the largest congregations in those cities. And leaders of the nation visit him there. I gave him a sudden call and I said, leave anything you are doing, let's go to Zambia. Because the time for change has come. And within that short notice, he got himself together, bought his ticket by himself. I didn't buy him a ticket. And he decided to fly into Zambia. He has traveled to different parts of the world. Preaching the gospel of faith. And speaking the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. He's very powerful in deliverance and healing. And I said, come join me. And Reverend Patrick here is from the city of Asaba Delta State. And he has his own prayer ministry and church ministry. And annually they shake that city up. And the whole meetings that have affected a lot of lives. He is in the prayer movement. And I said, join me here. And throughout this week, they will be here. And I called the, I invited the biggest voice we have in the north. Prophetic music voice we have in the north. Because foundations are about to shift. Can you stand up on your feet? Can you stand up on your feet? Can you stamp your feet on the ground? While you say, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, let the foundations under my feet shift. The foundations of my life, of Zambia, shift to the next place, the next level of glory that you have planned. By the stamping of my feet, I pass a decree in the name of Jesus. Let the heavens carry me over. Can you open your mouth and pass that decree now and just prophesy? Let the heavens carry you over. Because the set time of the Lord has come for Zambia. 
Let the heavens carry you Thank you Father Take all the glory Take all the praise Take In Jesus name And somebody say Amen. Amen So tomorrow we will all be here Gather as many from all over the place In fact I ask them to send buses To the very poorest of the places And bring them here I don't know what happened tonight so that God can lift, he said, starting from the poor to the riches, to the richest, he said there shall be a shifting. I had that very clearly. The economy is not only going to bless the rich in this season. The economy is going to reach out to the poor and lift them out from poverty. If you believe that, can you shout, Amen. Amen. God said he's going to visit every house in this season. He said by this time next year there shall be great rejoicings in Zambia. A great shout in Zambia. Go to the streets tomorrow. Don't be formal. Call everybody and gather them. If there is no bed good to carry you, trek to this place. And let's fill this ground up. Because tomorrow we'll be dancing all through. Because our change has come. And tomorrow we'll be anointing a lot of people and praying for a lot of people into their destinies. Myself and these servants of God will anoint a lot of you tomorrow into your destinies. So, Raise the alarm in Zion. And announce it upon the high place of the land. I want to welcome all of you who came from Livingstone and all over the place. Kitwe Ndola. From the north, south, east and west. And west. To join us in this place. I want to welcome the nation by television. In the, the name, name of, of Jesus, Christ. Zambia will not miss her destiny. Zambia is a I didn't hear somebody say amen. amen. I didn't hear somebody say amen. amen. And I also came with some of the top officers in our ministry. Our regional presiding apostles, Augustine is one of them. I can't see him. Augustine, and Sam is the other person. Don't mind their looks, it's deceptive. When they take over the mic and begin to reach out to you, then you know there is power and there is power. Let's put our hands together for them. I want to acknowledge Apostle Gaya who has been laying his life in Zambia for this few years. He's been leading the prophetic legislative schools. And quite a number of the students are the ones screaming there. Let's put our hands together for Apostle Gaia. I'm told you had seen him earlier. He had led the prayer meeting here. I want to give God glory for him and his team. William is here. And we thank God for their lives. There are some of you that have received great things by their hands. And we give God glory. You may go back to your seats, please. <laughs> now, listen. I'm going to do something. You will forgive me. That's what I feel led to do. Haven't seen the kind of crowd that was here is here today. I'm just going to prophesy unto you. And I'm going to close this meeting for tonight. You have had the reason for the meeting. Go out and bring the people. 
We need the people here. Let them raise a shout that will shake this place. It's not, the certain, it's, not, it's not the first time we are raising a shout to shift. And the Lord commanded it and we will do it. Whether the devil likes it or not. God will not wait the devil for the devil to shift you. And God will not mind the devil when he shifts you. I'm going to tell you a story and then I'm going to start praying with you from scripture. And we will close for tonight within the next 30, 45 minutes. But I want all of you that are here because you are here tonight God has destined you for special blessings. Something is going to follow you home. Something is going to shift your life forever. I didn't hear somebody say amen. Amen. I want you to stand up on your feet. I want you to move forward here and just stand with me here for 30 minutes as we prophesy to your life. We have come for action. We have not come for... Actually, the vision I had was a prayer crusade, but when I came, I saw prayer rally. I said, well, in English, there is a difference between a rally and a crusade. Most likely, if I knew I was holding a rally, I wouldn't bring this band. And people's attitude connects to the spirit of what your advertisement. A rally representatives can come from all over the nation, and it becomes a rally. And they will raise a shout in the city. But a crusade is an earthquake. A crusade is an earthquake. There is always a fever in the city. Vehicles go around all the city making announcements. At my next meeting here, I will make sure that the teams from Nigeria come down to help the teams locally here and we will enter every corner of this city Jesus said they should go and bring everybody that was not invited and he changed their lives I want you to go tonight and bring everybody that has not been invited Can you lift up your hands and tell the Lord, I am the lucky one that is here. Touch me. Start a new thing with me. Make me to spring out and remember me in heaven. I didn't hear somebody say amen to that. Listen, there is a nation called Morocco. Some of you have heard that. It's an African nation. Listen, because this is very important. You can bring down your hand for now. Listen, this is very important. Recently, there was an earthquake in Morocco. And it shook the whole place. And thousands and thousands and thousands and hundreds of thousands of people died. And to ambil anamalila. Normally, when the news reports a number of dead multiplied times three, because the press does not capture everything. Listen to me. Before that earthquake, there was a sign in the skies. There was a warning. If only they had an interpreter, ah, your life will not be given to the elements. God will always raise an interpreter for your life. If you read the book of Job, and I'm not reading that today, I may mention it again tomorrow. He said, if only they had an interpreter, the interpreter will interpret the times. And it will send for the, Mesa, for the Messiah, for the Savior. And it shall bring them out of the pit. And it shall give them the gift of life. Interpreters are defenders. The ministry we lead is a ministry of watchmen. 
Listen tonight. If there is any trouble at your gate, ready to swallow you. I release the fire of God to consume that trouble. Now. I didn't hear somebody shout, Amen. Today. I ask the Lord to sit in judgment against everything in your foundations that will not make you break loose. I release the fire of God to consume that thing. I didn't hear somebody shout amen. amen. Somebody shout my God arise. My God arise. And let my enemies be scattered. And let your enemies be scattered as well. In the name of Jesus. Put your hand on your chest and say, I receive. I receive. Therefore, let the earth shift before me. In Jesus' name. Make way for me now. My day to rise has come. In Jesus name. Can you wave and say amen? Amen. Listen. First Samuel chapter Two verse eight. Can somebody <inaudible> chapter two verse eight? First Samuel chapter two verse eight. chapter two verse eight. It captures what is. I will finish the story on Morocco. Listen. 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 I was in America throughout. That is just a few weeks ago. And when they were reporting the news, both in the American television and the Israeli television, I was watching the news. They said there was a strange cloud or moon in the night, white, that rose up over the city, I mean, over the capital. And across, the, it was seen from all over the nation. And the thing hung there every day for almost one week. Did you hear what I'm saying? And people were asking, what is this? And for almost one week, they were wondering, what is this? They were wondering, what is this? If only they had an interpreter. The reason why you miss your destiny is that there is nobody to help you. To interpret your times. And to help you enter into your times. To remove you from where you are. And to help you. Today in the name of Jesus. I invite Jesus to find you where you are. And to carry you out. To the place where you should be. You will live here and a miracle will take place. Somebody will look for you to change your destiny. If you receive that, wave your hand and shout hallelujah. That is why tomorrow. You must bring everybody, all your friends. Do not invite less than 20 people. And make sure 10 of them are here with you. Get lifts. If you have a car, don't come alone. Fill your car with people. If you have a bigger boss, fill your boss with people. But let's gather here and raise a shout. Today, that secret spirit, that devil, that has been hidden around your life holding back your destiny I release the fire of God to find that spirit no I will read that 1 Samuel 2 in a moment but the Bible says in Amos chapter 9 smite the lintel of the door in verse 1 the Bible says smite the lintel of the door. In verse 1. Oh, Father, thank you. We give you glory and we give you praise. We give you glory, Lord. And we honor you. We give you glory, Lord. 
for miracles tonight because it starts with you tonight you are worthy Papa you are worthy listen and take this verse home. You will read it in your house. I don't care whether you believe in Jesus or not. And Jesus will come to your aid tonight. It's the word of covenant God gave in Amos chapter 9 verse 1. I saw the Lord standing upon the altar. May the Lord stand upon the altar on your behalf tonight. And he said Smite the lintel of the door and the post may shake that the post may shake and cut them in the head all of them and I will slay the last of them that trouble you with the sword. He that fleeth of them shall not flee away, shall not escape. And he that escaped, escaped of them shall not be delivered. Though they dig into hell, they go back to Satan to hide. Then shall mine hand take them. Though they climb up to the heavens, will I bring them down? Today, whatever is the reason why you are where you are on the ground, we open the gates of heaven and the earth and we release the hand of God to pull them out. And one by one begin to cut them off. In the name of Jesus. I didn't hear somebody say amen. amen. You must cram that scripture. What did I call it? Amos chapter 1, uh, chapter 9, verse what? Amos chapter 9, verse 1 to 4. When will you read it? Tonight before you sleep. Go to where you stay, even if you don't have a house. And you stay by the bridge, under the bridge. When you get to that corner where you sleep. Take your small Bible and open to Amos. Many of you, if you don't have a Bible, look for the person who has a Bible tonight. Read it over your life. And say, oh God, the man of God said that this will happen to me. And God will begin to remove the rags that was upon you. And it will change your destiny forever. Every evil spirit that will not allow your life to be remembered shall be cut off tonight. It's a shifting year. Somebody say, my shift has come. My shift has come. I welcome the Holy Spirit tonight to take me to the next place in the name of Jesus Christ. I didn't hear somebody say amen. amen. I didn't hear somebody say amen. amen. And that first Samuel chapter 1. Sorry, chapter 2. Chapter two verse, verse, eight, verse 8. The Bible says. Bible says <laughs> he raised up the poor. Out of the dust. So I'm talking to those of you who don't have houses to even live in. Who pick food from the ground and you move on the street. I'm talking to those of you who have houses that are leaking when it rains. And you have no money to put back that roof. I'm talking to those of you who cannot afford three square meals. You have to beg and beg and beg. I'm talking to those of you who were once great and you are falling down from grace. I'm talking to everyone that is under siege today. Hear you the word of the Lord. In this season when God shakes foundations, 
and he aligns the destinies of nations. He's going to go to the root of what is holding you back. And he's going to challenge that thing to let my people go. And he's going to destroy the spirit and the circumstance. So everything that made you a permanent laborer. I reverse it in Jesus' name. I didn't hear somebody say amen. Amen. The Bible says he raised up the poor out of the dust and lifted up the beggar from the dung hill to set them among princes to make them live with rulers to set them among princes and to make them inherit the throne of glory for the pillars of the Lord of the earth are the Lord's and he had set the world upon them God owns all the foundations of the earth God is aligning the destiny of Zambia we'll be talking more about that tomorrow because Zambia is supposed to break loose from the past. God told me that this, this president is a midwife. He is supposed to be a transiting president that transits Zambia and opens the door for the next place the next level therefore any hindering spirit against the president that will not allow him and are distracting him from doing that I break the power of that spirit here if you believe what I'm saying shout break somebody shout break break break, break. In the name of Jesus, pray. Can somebody shout amen? Amen. God needed us to stress. I'm re I will repeat this shout tomorrow again. That every hindering spirit against the president of Zambia. And I see many of them. Distracting spirit. Lying spirit. Voices that seem to be telling him and dividing his attention and pulling him for one thing or the other or trying to frighten him or trying to make him live in fear. Today, may the Lord wipe all of them out. Everyone threatening the president, let God answer by fire. Is your nation. The Bible says we should pray for the rulers of the nation. I'm coming back tomorrow with fire in my mouth and destiny for everybody. Listen because this is important. That cloud was saying something to them in Morocco that a season is about to come upon them. The moon normally reveals the heart of God. Revelation 19.1 talks about that. The night reveals the heart of God. It reveals God's will. Morocco by night didn't know that the next week an earthquake will follow. That that moon was only interpreting what was happening underneath the ground. That the earth was catching fire on the ground. And that the earth will soon split open and swallow thousands of people in an earthquake. If only they knew, many lives will have been saved. Did you hear what I said? I forbid it today. That will not happen to Zambia. That will not happen to your life. Your enemy will not ambush you. You will not be taken by surprise. Right now, if you are under an ambush, I call fire from the four ends of the earth to consume those that have ambushed you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can you shout amen? Amen. Listen. 
I hear the Lord say that for some of you here what you are going through is not natural. There are people behind it who have put you in your bad situation. I hear the Lord say help is coming. Today I invoke that fire of God to find where they are and consume them one by one. Somebody say, consume them. Consume them. Set them on fire. Holy Ghost fire. In Jesus' name. I didn't hear somebody shout, Amen. Amen. So God is going to begin to remove the hands of those who are putting their hands upon your neck. So that can you start praying for yourself? Just tell God. Begin to break away their hands. Remove them from me. Release me from where I am. Pray for yourself. Did we bring the anointing oils here? Can you put your hand on your feet? Can you tell the Lord, break the chains around me now? Begin to pray for the breaking of the chains. Father, break in the name of Jesus. Follow me home tonight. Find everything that is destroying my life. Break, 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 break. break. In the name of Jesus. I want you to stand up. Put your hand on your navel. You know your navel is where this round. Amplical cord is. Put your hand on that navel. And tell the Lord. Every witchcraft spirit that is connected to my destiny, disconnect them now. Break their power in the name of Jesus. Is it only one bottle? Can you get where is uh, uh, where are those four pastors? Pour the oil on your hand, your palms. And just put it, it, we put it on your heads. And God will put a mark on your head tonight. As you go, the fire of God will go home with you. God is going to search your houses and begin to break curses around you. Just touch it on their head and move on. Just move on. You don't need to stand up. Everybody will carry the sign of the Lord. If only Morocco had help, like Zambia is getting help today, Morocco will not have gone through that problem. So today, as the oil touches your head, let the heavens open. Let's move very fast inside. Break every chain. Break every chain. Renew the oil in their hands. Somebody follow them with the oil and renew it. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. These are holy men of God. Lay hands on you. That by them, great things have happened by their hands. And today, if you have any infirmity in your body, I prophesy that they lose it now. Let your spirit be set free. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is. Break every chain, break every chain, break every 
To fall off your body now. I command your body to begin to gather back and heal. I rebuke the devil in your life. I rebuke the spirit of infirmity. Receive your deliverance in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout Amen. Amen. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break, 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 break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Yes, God is already delivering break that person over there. Break every chain, break every chain, break, break, break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Put your hand again there on your novel area and just say, God, my God, arise. May God arise. Oh God, arise. And let your enemies in my life be scattered. Recover Zambia tonight. And release it on his journey. In the name of Jesus. Release the blessing of Zambia. For the benefit of Zambians. Raise up your hands to the heaven. Can you call upon the Lord tonight and tell the Lord everybody stealing Zambia's money and taking it back to their country and allowing Zambians to suffer. Tonight, let the Lord close the border. Let the Lord begin to cut off their spirits. In the name of Jesus, stamp your feet on the ground. I say from today, hey. the blessing of Zambia shall bless Zambia. Foreigners hey. shall not steal the money. We break the curse. 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 In the name of Jesus, somebody shout Amen. How many of you can feel the presence of the Lord? You know, some of you came with infirmity in your body. And you found yourself just doing things. And you have forgotten what was worrying you. Today, you won't see that sickness again. That infirmity is gone forever. I release God's hand upon your head. That anointing that is flowing now. Set everything free in your body. Heal your spirit now. Heal your soul now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I didn't hear somebody shout amen. Now listen. Because I'm closing now. You want Jesus to carry you by the hand. 
and follow you home tonight. Mwende naye kwa nyumba. But you want him to first of all touch your heart. Kama first akwile mtima wangu and own your heart and own your life that means you want to give him let him own everything in you so that your salvation can be true and true tonight you want to enter into covenant and contract with God to bring you healing and make you grow Take you out of the shadows and fulfill first Samuel chapter 2. Because tomorrow greater things are going to happen. If you want to enter into that kind of agreement with the God of heaven and live over your soul for him to save and save your body and save your life and give you eternal life and from there change your condition. You want to do that tonight. I want you to lift that hand to the Lord. No, bring down, bring down. It's not everybody. You know, somehow Satan has scattered your, your heart and your life. And you have not been able to serve God properly. But today you want Jesus to save your heart from that spirit that has scattered your life. I want you to raise that hand. It is to you I am talking. If you want that to happen. Now listen. All of you who are raising your hands there. Come to the front row. Just move forward and stand in the front row. There. I thank God for your lives tonight. Just stand in the front row. Because like the chairman said. It might be because of you that Jesus is passing this way. The day I got saved. It was a large meeting. The speaker spoke out his lungs and preach and preach and preach. Made an altar now and break every confusion in my spirit and the power of sin and the power of the thief, the power of the devil. Everything that is controlling my life that should not control my life, wipe them out in Jesus' name. My Father, in the name of Jesus, build a new altar, a new altar between me and you, where you will rule my life as my God, as my Savior, as my Lord, and I will serve you on earth as your slave, as your son, today in the name of Jesus, let my spirit, soul, and body be saved. In the name of Jesus, let everything around me be saved also. I receive the power of the Holy Ghost to set me free now and change my destiny. Welcome Holy Spirit. Come into my heart and live with me forever and go home with me and change things from tonight. Let my foundation answer to you. Let my foundation answer in Jesus name. Can you wave to the Lord and shout Amen. Amen. The Bible says you have been bought with a price. Even the price of the blood of Jesus. Today I release the power of that blood to set your spirit, soul and body free now. Today I confirm your salvation in Jesus name. Today you will go home and a voice will go before you scattering everything that has not allowed you to prosper. In the name of Jesus can somebody wave and shout hallelujah. All of you came. Tomorrow, every one of you will buy a small anointing oil. You will hold it and bring it to this meeting. It's the last day. 
I don't care whether you have somebody to help you or not. The Holy Ghost has already filled oh, that God. Help is coming. I say help is coming. Help is coming. So buy an anointing oil and invite everybody else. Number two, if you have a telephone, I know there are thieves everywhere. Bring it with you that has light. Telephone that has light. We are going to light up your life tomorrow. You will put it on and we will prophesy. Zambia will catch fire. I didn't hear somebody say amen. amen. There are one or two people. Sometimes you, I can feel it in my spirit. You have movement in your brain. As if somebody is crushing stones in, on, on your head. I saw God smite that head. And I saw that spirit leave your head. Receive your miracle right now. Tomorrow you must share your testimony. I didn't hear somebody say amen. Amen. There is somebody else. The problem has to do with your right knee. I see the Lord straightening out that right knee. It's like a nerve. When you turn the knee to a level, there is sharp pain. So you have to keep it in one direction. Today, God has just removed that string from your knee. That witchcraft is broken. Receive your miracle in the name of Jesus. Somebody wave and say, I receive. I receive in the name of Jesus. I didn't hear somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah. There is somebody here. If it were not for one or two people, you would be dead. Because they are the ones who pick your bills, they feed you, they, they show you great mercy. I hear the Lord say, within the next one year, you will be the one feeding other people. Your circumstance has changed tonight because the Lord has touched your water. Receive your miracle in the name of Jesus. Please tonight when you pray, pray for the president. I really want to pray for him in this meeting. I don't care what you feel about the president. Nothing is a mistake in heaven. If he won the election, it must be for a purpose. I repeat, if he won the election, it must, God does not make mistakes. You must insist that God's will for raising him be done. Let God break the cobwebs. I can't tell the rest of the visions I see. But he must put Zambia in that place. That corner where Zambia becomes a cornerstone of the world. And then he may leave. And then God will finish the work. But there will be trouble for Zambia if he does not accomplish that. Because nobody else can accomplish that. Did you hear what I just said? There are people who came here to hear what is God saying to Zambia. Now you are beginning to hear it. There is something the president must do. Otherwise, Zambia cannot connect to the next place. And only you can push him into that thing. Tonight, when you pray for yourself and your house using those two scriptures, listen, you must ask, pray for the president. And ask that all those forces that are pulling him here and there and whispering programs God did not give him. Wisdoms God did not give him. Let the Lord scatter them one by one. So that Zambia can enter into its place. Because God will hold him alone responsible in heaven for the nation of Zambia. God will not hold his vice 
God will not hold the cabinet. God is going to hold him alone. Did you hear what I said? Can you lift your two hands? Lastly, and just begin to bless the Lord for tonight. And tell the Lord, I receive my garment of priesthood and kingship for the time to come for the next level and just give him glory for helping us tonight entering into that covenant with your life and can you pray for tomorrow and ask God to gather the four winds and bring people from the four ends of the earth and let's raise a shout over Zambia. Just bless the Lord somebody. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Oh, oh, oh my soul. Worship his holy name. Sing How many of you are promising God you're going to carry the assignment tonight? Amos chapter 9, verses 1. Amos chapter 9, verse 1, figure up a five. First Samuel. Chapter what? Chapter 2. Chapter what? Chapter 2. 2. Verse what? Verse 1. Very good. You will read it for your life tonight. I say, God, by this, align my foundations into the shift you are bringing. And there was another assignment that tonight you will start calling people all over the place and you will bring them here. Tomorrow. How many of you are promising that? We must become fishers of men with Jesus Christ. Go bring out the people. Whether they know how to pray or not doesn't matter. Whether they are born again or not doesn't matter. Bring them here. And tonight, because you touch your oblique call, a door is open in your body. And your healing and your shift has begun. Did you hear what I said? Go and watch what happens to your body and come back and share your miracle tomorrow here. Did you hear what I said? Somebody say amen. There is somebody here who left somebody at home who couldn't come here because they were not feeling fine. The Lord says you should take that hand with which you touched that oil and just lay it on that person tonight and tell the Lord to lift him out of that bed and that person shall be healed and tomorrow you will bring the person here as well and we will share testimony and rejoice come and take a song and let's rejoice and the blessings of the Lord follow you somebody shout hallelujah hallelujah hey, hey, my God is good oh. Just living, you haven't connected to the altar. Can you connect to the altar? Bring your offering on the altar. It is very important that you connect to the altar. It is very, very